Hello everybody. Living on a boat isn't ideal. Very often you don't have mains power available on your mooring. So you have to use generators which are noisy and burn fuel which is very expensive. Or solar power, solar in batteries and they run inverters. This is an inverter, it's a computer UPS, it's a uh, synthetic uh, sine wave. It's not a pure sine wave, but quite frankly it doesn't make a lot of difference. They work very well. There are some storage batteries, small ones in this case. I've modified this inverter, so instead of having the batteries inside, I've got a plug on the outside. Now you may notice I've also added a few things. Computer UPSs tend to only have a relatively short run time before uh, you know, the, the computer shuts down, the server shuts down. So they don't tend to need a huge amount of cooling compared to a normal inverter. So I've added some cooling and I'm going to modify this casing here with some ventilation holes over the heat sinks. However, Inverters cannot always be placed in handy locations, so I've modified this one to make it a bit more handy. I've left this space for the batteries intact. The wires here uh, I've run throughout into the plug. They can always be run back at some stage if I want to put it back to the way it was. And these big shiny silver things, we're not going to touch because they might be charged, are the actual heat sinks off the drivers. This is what I've added. It's a 24 volt inverter. I've added a remote control unit like you get off eBay, which is 12 volts. And the little buck step down thing circuit there that takes 12 volts, 24 volts, and steps it down to 12 volts. So that provides the power, as I said, to switch there. That provides a little remote control fob to uh, control things. And the fan there is obviously wired into the switch. So I, if I'm away from the base for an often or if it's poor charging, I can always turn the fan off if I don't need it. So I'll turn it on. Fan comes on. Fan doesn't require much power, so your solar panel should be able to run that 24-7. What I might do is add a thermal switch onto this wire here, so it only comes on when it gets warm in the case. Right, so it works. If I press the button, and I set it on just one channel, there's two channels here. So if I hold the button, on this is exactly the same as if I'm pressing the button, drop the rates there. Right, it's flashing in this particular mode, and it's running. You can barely hear it, you can see power there. This beeps every 10 seconds to let you know it's on. I could turn that feature off, but we're doing so in a little while. But there you are. If you want to turn it on, on and off remotely, I can. All I need to know is I press the button for 3 seconds, and the mains will come on or go off. Uh, the fan there uh, runs for the time being to put a thermostat in. Anyway, there you go. Relatively simple way of converting a computer UPS to turn on and off by a remote control wherever it happens to be.